In today's video, I am going to be sharing the best OBS settings which will drastically help in the performance and quality of your video. Watch till the end for some bonus tips and these settings work for Streamlabs too. So let's get started. This is the website from where you can download OBS Studio. Once you have downloaded it, open OBS Studio and cancel this pop-up window. Close this too. And now open up settings. If you only record, then skip to this time frame. Or if you only want to stream, then skip the recording part. In the streaming section and then streaming settings, select the encoder as X264, which means your processor will process everything. But I use my GPU that is H264, which works for me. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, then you might see an NVENC option here and that's even better so select that to know which one is best for you the best option is to just try and experiment try each encoder you see and use the one which works the best for you leave the rest as it is now in encoder settings select the rate control as CBR and for the bit rate it depends on what quality you want and on what platform are you streaming refer to this given table for more info I have set mine on 2500 kbps. In target usage, I have kept mine on very fast, which provides the balance between quality and speed. If you have a good PC and want higher quality, then set this at the setting somewhere here. If you set it at quality, then you're gonna get the best quality video. In profile, keep high as preference. Keep the keyframe interval as 3 seconds Keep the latency as normal, but if you set it as ultra low or low, the quality might decrease as it increases the load on your CPU. Now keep the B frames as it is. Now in the recording section, select the recording format as MKV which will prevent any loss of file in case of any power failure or else you can select it as mp4 mp4 is widely compatible with browsers compared to mkv because it is usually used to convert dvds and blu-ray discs into video files and many editing softwares do not approve mkv footage but if you still decide to use it here's how you can convert them into an mp4 in obs open up file click on remux recordings and then select the file you want and click on remux and you will get this pop-up which will say your video has been successfully converted into an mp4 select the encoder which works best for you i'm gonna keep mine as h.264 copy the settings we applied to the encoder settings on the streaming section now let's move on to video tab if you have a super low end pc that, that can't handle 1080p video then set it as 1280 by 720 that means you will get 720p output and you can set your frame rate as 30 fps but if you want a 1080p output or even a 4k output then set this as 1920 by 1080 and this too as the same for 4k output you need to put it as 3840 by 2160 and keep the same here and if you want a smoother video then you can set the frame rate as 60 fps but if you want even a higher frame rate then you can set this as a fractional value and then change the numerator as maybe 120 which means you will get the output of 120 fps for me my pc can handle none so i'm gonna keep it at 1080p at 30 fps now it's time for some bonus tips if you have several audio tracks and you want to keep them separate like you want to keep the mic and the desktop audio separate so it's easier in post then set the audio tracks as two and in audio mixer tab open up advanced video properties by clicking on the three dots here and then just checking everything except one and two if you want to keep desktop audio as one then you can uncheck two and I'm gonna keep mic as audio track number two so I'm gonna uncheck one and also go into settings and then in output and in streaming settings select the audio track as two 
If you edit your stream later and want to keep separate audio tracks, and then in recording, go into recording settings and select audio tracks as two again. And if in case you want 7.1 or 5.1 audio, you can go into audio settings and then simply selecting the channels as any of these, maybe 5.1 or 7.1. Next tip is for better output, you can go to settings again, click on advanced and set the process priority as high or maybe above normal. And that was it for today. If you guys have any other suggestions, then please write them down in the comments. And I'm really sorry for not uploading videos for more than three months. I'm back now. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.